Welcome back to Ocean Media. Today, we are showing a compilation of our Fearless Fisherman Owns Cop series. Let's jump right into it. First is about a police squad who were overly aggressive with a peaceful fisherman in Florida. Hold on, calm down, calm down. I am not a, I'm not a threat, dude, I'm just fishing. I'm just going fishing, bro. No, my hands are up, but dude, I'm not gonna comply to an unlawful order. My hands are up, I'm not a threat, I'm just fishing, man. Under the law, I'm allowed to do this. I'm not a threat, man. I'm just fishing. My hands are up, dude, my, I'm not a threat. I'm not gonna comply to an unlawful order, I'm not a threat. I'm just fishing, man. I'm just fishing. If you know what I'm doing, then you should just leave me alone but there's one, two, three of you with ARs. You had yours pointed at me. I never pointed at you. Uh, it was, it was, it was not, it was not, it was not in a, in a safe manner. I'll tell you that right now. It, it's debatable. You got a body cam? Because I'm gonna request that. What's your name and badge number, sir? This is my, this is my crab net, dude. I was out here trying to do, that's my bait for my crab and I'm fishing. Under the law, I have to have a fishing license for this and there's one, two, three, four of you. Your name and badge number, please, sir. Name and badge number, please. Funny enough, it seems like the sheriff and his goons start to scatter once they realize who they're messing with. You tell me the crime I've committed, and if you can actually run my fishing license, I'm all for it. Nope. I don't answer questions. I just want the incident report number and all y'all's ID. Ha 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 ha, ha ha ha, joke about it, dude. Right now, yeah. Do I have to keep my hands up? I am not a threat. I'm not reaching for my gun or nothing. Do you know the law that you're trying to enforce right now? You don't have to ID me. I'm a law abiding citizen that has done nothing wrong. What's the problem with me doing this? Okay, then, then leave, leave me alone. You guys all came out here with AR-15s ready to shoot somebody and to a guy that hadn't done nothing to anybody. I understand, but I didn't, I wasn't a threat to anybody. Well, we don't know that, right? Florida fishing license. Oh, you got it on the card. That's yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I've presented. Okay, then hold it. Michael, turn around. Michael David Taylor. There you go, man. Okay. You guys, you guys already know who I am. I don't, I have a clue, bro. I've never dealt with you. <laughs> yeah, well. Michael David Taylor, born in 79. No, it wasn't. It, you just violated my Fourth Amendment right. In another incident, a group of officers attempted to ban a fisherman from a local area for 18 months, even though he was listed as a resident guest. That's a good fish. Look at that, guys. Pop the hook out. Kiss it goodbye. All right. The guy from across the lake call you? ID's, guys. ID's, they're in the, they're, me? Yeah. No. Uh, no, uh, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Okay, you have your ID too? Yeah. Mine's in the truck. Ryan? Um, so, trespass. The whole public is the fish. What? I, I, I'm on the permanent resident list. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We've talked to the resident and we've spoken with you guys. You have to be physically with the resident to be fishing on this property. Wow. I mean, you're not going to live in Miami. Really? That is that is news to me. I mean, I, I thought since you're on the resident list, I, I actually talked to another security guard here, and they, they, they said, you know, as long as you're not messing with anybody, doing your thing, you're good. Yeah, no, and so, we've been in contact with, with the house that you're a guest at multiple times and informed that they need to be physically with you while you guys are fishing. So can I come back with them physically with me? or? No, no, you're, no from now on. You're, you're permanently trespassed on the property. So yeah, you gotta come, come back, back here for 18 months. Yeah, so you will be delivered. Right. You'll be delivered. Hopefully, gate to try to get in, you go to jail. Then there's the incident where a fisherman faced hostility from onlookers who threatened to sabotage his fishing line and called the police on him. Oh, is that a fact? Is that a fact? 
I didn't hit anything. No, you didn't. Somebody that owns the lake? I fish here all the time. It didn't touch the boat. Have a good one. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Have a good day. You can say it all you want to, buddy. Really? Say it all you want. Say it all you want. What am I doing if there's no fish in here? What am I doing right now? That's right, I'm fishing. I'm gonna keep fishing too. Have a good day. Man, have a good day, brother, but don't curse at me. Curse at me. I'm sorry, what? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Are you? Go right ahead, buddy. You're on camera, just so you know. Call the cops, call them up, man. This is public water. You can't come down here and run me off. Fortunately, in this case, the responding officer handled the situation amicably. How you doing? Man, I cracked a few right under that Marine over there. There's probably about 50 of them straight loaded. Oh, I know they called you. Yeah, a yeah. couple of these boys come down here pissed. Yeah, and that's and just doing their job. I understand, uh, but you know, they come up and call me an asshole. Yeah, we don't want that. Uh, I mean, but I come over here to de-escalate it. Yeah, I appreciate so that. that. you know, uh, we don't mind to fish it here because it's public. We don't mind to fish it here because it's public. We don't mind to fish it here because it's public. But sure. Just don't make sure you hit those uh, lures on these. Absolutely. Some of these boats, 300? No, sure, yeah. Boats. You got some and, uh, You got some money up in here, and I absolutely have nothing but utter respect for everybody's property. I wouldn't want anybody hitting my boat. Yeah. I'm a boat owner. And so I understand that. this is how these interactions should go right here. The following cop ended up harassing a member of the U.S. Army after he was called by an angry golfer. How y'all doing? How you doing? Good, good. Uh, apparently, they spoke to me several times about fishing on the property. You cannot. Can you verify real quick? What's your name, sir? TJ. Uh, TJ. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Cool. So you're drying this truck? No. No. That, no, th that red Dodge? That's mine. That's mine. That's your truck? Yes, sir. So it drives your truck on property? No. My, my truck doesn't come. When, when we come fish with mm -hmm. it's on. Uh, Okay. Uh, but I wasn't aware. Is this all like? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, that. Okay. This that's... is all his property with it. So, okay. And he's here right now mainly due to the fact that that truck comes back because the only time that truck's been logged into our property, it's been logged in. On... Interesting. Okay. The... Interesting. So that might have been last September. I think the one time that we drove my truck in here, but I've got everything. I mean, I can show you the registration. This is my your, truck. Uh, your it's, all, it, it's all in my truck, sir. Okay. It's all in my truck. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Originally from West Palm? No, no, no. So originally from Georgia, uh, got stationed all over and now down here. Okay. But I bought a house, so I had to transfer my license. <laughs> but yeah, if that's a thing, then that's, uh, you know. Yeah, you can't. All of this is private property. You got it. Remember the fisherman from earlier? He's still facing challenges with the Karens, sending more minions to help, all the while persisting in their unwarranted behavior despite knowing the rules. Who don't right. introduce him? I always know. We have all one association for it. We pay for the lake. It's private lake. So if you live in the neighborhood. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Who are you? I'm John McCollum. That's good to know. John McCollum, where you live? I live right down here. Where? Address? What street? What's your address? Okay. Say that again. What is it? I'm not done yet. Why you guys first time? You okay. got on tape. You're recording. We so got on the first time. And where do you right. live? Where do you live? I told you. Okay. That don't mean and I gotta tell you, you where I live. <laughs> Who does that? You can break into my home. Hey. I don't know you. Police officers. Uh, well, you and be. gang warden. This is the man right here. The fisherman even had to call his father for support and later encountered a neighbor facing similar problems. First time was um, actually, like I said, over here. 
Mm-hmm. And it, it was just the like, same place I was fishing yeah, yesterday. Same, same and got harassed yeah. by the lady. And, and, and it was like in the middle of the day too. I remember, and I was out here fishing, that, and I came back over my, to my like my truck to get um like some extra lures or something like that, whatever. Mm-hmm. And it just was about to cross back over. It's like you know, this dude you know, lives up the street, pulls up right in front of me, and he's, and he's like, he like to say, hey, so do you live here? And you know, and I'm kind of like, what? He's like, you know, you know, do you live here? And I'm like, why would you ask me that question? Like, that's not being there really. Right, right, right. And, and that's for that. And, that's, and, and he was like, oh, I'm like, dude, just go. And I ignored him and just walked away. So he drove away. Um, he didn't say anything to the police about you? No, no, I didn't, I didn't call them. Oh, man, you, you, got, you got to get it. I don't believe me. Like, Maybe I should do that. Be more mean. It's- <laughs> oh, I'm not kidding, man. I, I, I- <laughs> Lastly, we have a story about an officer whose actions make us question why interactions with police often go bad. I'm not in your yard. There's no way she's about to come out and say she's out of Ma'am, I spoke with your husband before. Like, I'm not in your yard. No, the, me? No, ma'am. Me? I've actually spoken with them before. Their, their son watches my YouTube channel. Now, now there have been other, there have been other guys out here. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, it's like a year ago, but there, I know there has been problems here. I actually spoke with Mr. Tim because I know there was an incident with other fishermen. And I came the very next day to apologize to him because not all fishermen are that way. I know the rules and I, I actually, when y'all first moved in, we were back there and your husband came out and spoke with us gladly moved on because we understand you guys just moved in i don't want to cause problems at all but i'm not causing ma'am i'm not causing problems this is what i do for work i just fish right here i teach other people i'm not (laughs) that's not how it works ma'am i'm not in your yard i'm not causing (laughs) it's just fishing i literally teach kids how to fish on my youtube channel i'm not vandalizing it's so weird that it's that big of a problem like i'm teaching kids how to fish i'm not (laughs) That's fine. I, I'm gladly. That's fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Why can't they just let the man fish? No, not at all. I've fished here a lot, and I've I had one sheriff like months back ask me to leave because I was behind houses, and I was standing right on that corner. And I've actually spoken with her husband before, and he asked like right when they first moved in, he's like, "Hey, can you guys just move down?" And we're like, "Yes, sir." Um, that gentleman right there had a very bad encounter with fishermen. I drove about 30 minutes on my way to come apologize to him. I mean, I was just literally staying right here. I heard her saying I was yelling at her. I wasn't yelling at her. It was this one of those things where I told her, I said that once he's like, I mean, you weren't on her property, you were across the lake. She says, well, HOA says this. I can enforce HOA rules. I enforce laws. So, I mean, you're being super respectful. I mean, as far as what I'm concerned with is as long as we're on the same page, you know, I'm not talking or anything like that because I, I, I appreciate fishing on my days off as something <laughs> as that is. Next, an angry resident starts shooting at a couple of fishermen. What are you doing out there? What's going on out there? Guys, there's somebody yelling at us from that house up there. We have permission to be here. Hey, you don't have no permission to be here? Ron, dude, this guy's literally yelling at me for fishing here. They take cover and yell out, trying to reason with the shooter who seems utterly confused. Dude, we're with Ron. Gary, 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 it's me. Stop. Stop. Are you okay? I'm fine. Gary. What in the world? Dude, calm down. Did he really need to take it that far? We're not here to hurt nobody. We're just trying to scare people off. We've had stuff missing around here. I totally, I listen, I totally understand that. I completely. I'm more mad at Ron because Ron said he had permission. I do yeah. have permission. Yeah. Did you not know I was in town? I don't even know if I can fish in here anymore, dude. That's I have never had anything like that happen to me in my entire life, especially when you actually have permission to fish somewhere. And I get it, but holy cow, dude. Hey, how are you so calm? Right I'm now? not like necessarily calm. Things escalate quickly in our next clip. We have a Karen who, from across the lake, starts yelling at a fisherman, accusing him of trespassing. Watch what unfolds when the police arrive. 
There we go again. I'm not fishing in this pond. How am I supposed to get to the pond that I can fish? Bruh. All right. I've talked to the police multiple times. He said I could fish that pond. All right, whatever, call the police. Good, how are you? Not bad. Today you walk down here, huh? Yes, sir. Where'd you walk from? Back over there. Okay. Walk through this section here? Yes, sir. Okay, that's why I'm here. Okay. Okay. You live back that way, or? No, sir, I live way over there. My One of my best friends lives right there. You so. walk from his house, or? Yeah, I wasn't going from his house, but he t I asked him if I could come fish or whatever, and they said, okay. his mom said yes, so. Yeah, granted, I mean, this part, yeah. You can fish. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was told. Uh, and I, had, I was fishing at one of the other ones and an officer told me that I could I could only fish in this one. So I didn't even, I walked past, I didn't even touch my well, rods or make a cast or anything. And two or three different HOAs too. Yeah. And people are anal, yeah. put it that way. So one of them called in the fact that you were walking through there. Yeah. The cops come to the scene. But instead of the expected confrontation, they inform the fisherman that he's being asked to leave because he walked through someone's backyard. Well, she's out on her porch again, waiting for me to come back by. She's on the phone. I'm telling you, this lady's crazy. Dude, one time I was out here fishing, and she came outside on her back porch with this giant camera and was taking pictures of me while I was fishing. That's the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I almost called the cops on her for doing that. That's just weird. She went back inside, I think, because she saw me. She didn't want to be confronted. Next, we encounter some fishermen fishing next to a highway. Things take a turn when the cops show up to shoo them away. Hello. Good. Okay, unfortunately, you guys can't be fishing here. Okay. Because this is all private property. I know, but this is the turnpike, though. All this stuff is considered private property. Anything oh. on anything on the turnpike is private property. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Wow. I didn't know that because I've been doing this for a while. We filmed YouTube videos too. Yeah, coming oh, out okay. I guess nobody's ever told you that. No, which, no, which, no, yeah, I've which is had, fine. But. Initially, the cop claims it's private property but then switches his reason to it being a distraction for drivers. A bit of a mixed message, don't you think? They don't allow it, because what happens is it causes attention and somebody's gonna run to the back of your truck and right. it's just a whole big mess. I get the big mess. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. right. yeah, what happens is, is some somebody, you know, with a hard head, they give you a hard time about sense, it. Though. So, you know, we've had what? a couple people honking at us and everything like that, <laughs> yeah. so that's taking their attention away from the road. Yeah, and, got and unfortunately, it. It's just the way it is. Our next clip features a cop who actually helps a fisherman get instant karma. A random guy pulls up and throws chum on him. What, what was the issue? Well, all right, what's the issue? Yo, bro, man, what's good? You guys are how, how are we kooks? I do it for the gram. Are you serious, dude? Look at this hole. I'm filming and he just dumped all that dead bait right here. What a Luckily, the whole incident was filmed and shared with a passing cop. Wait till you see what happens next. This is my first ever encounter with him in person. I've never even spoken to him on social media, ever. So how do you know him then? I, I know of him. I used, to, I used to do the same thing he did for work. Okay. And I, I've seen him on the water a bunch of times, never talked to me. And then just randomly he pulled up in his truck and then dumped. Do you have this whole incident on video? Or yeah. Or? yeah, yeah. Can I show it to you? Yeah. What's the issue? Well, Alright, what's the issue? And the police is coming back right there. Let's see what happened. Alright, he's coming to clean up the mess and talk to you, I guess. Turn that thing off. I don't have to do anything, dude. Turn that thing off. I'm not turning this off, bro. Turn that thing off. You're trying. No, dude, absolutely not. Turn your camera off. I'm not turning this camera off. I'm not doing anything wrong. Can you tell him to turn his camera off, please? I don't have to turn the camera off. I'd like to have a conversation with you. We can do that off camera if you'd like. Is it, is it 
possible. More important thing that we gotta deal with. Yeah, is it possible you could stop? Is it possible that you cannot throw fish on me for doing nothing to you? I wish we could have a conversation about what just happened. I thought you might want some bait. Nah, I'm good, dude. I don't understand why you did what you did, and, and I, I was hoping that we could have a man-to-man -man conversation, but... A little bit right here. I'm gonna get it. I just don't like the camera in my face. Just... It is what it is. Just Can I throw a bucket of water on him? On this? On him. Next, we have a pair of fishermen continuously troubled by a Karen couple near the lake. He's actually back and he uh, he called the cops. Let me try to get a... Oh, Julian's there. Let me try to get a uh, zoom in here. Uh, there's the guy. Hold on. There's the guy right there in the pink. Can't really see him. But the, uh, the cop is there talking to him. And I actually hear them arguing over there right now. The cop was kind of on my side. And, uh, he's like, yeah, I fish here too. Yeah, the cop, the cop actually said that he's fished here too. And uh, he said that that guy was in the wrong. He's being a little too ridiculous. He's like walking the cop around his property, showing him like a bench that I sat on one time for like three seconds. I'm not really sure what his motives are, but. The situation heats up. The officer turns out to be quite understanding, yet he still has to enforce Karen's rules. Hi, uh, uh, you recording this? Uh, yeah, for my safety, but I won't have your face in it. No, you can, you can oh, record okay. the all you cool. want. Well, what would that, what'd that guy say? The guy's concerns is trespassing. Right. All right, but you know as well as I do as far as the easement. Right, I am aware of the law when right. it comes to property, and right? He's gonna get his blueprints out and show me as well. And at the same time, I suggested to him right. to go ahead and go to the city right. as far as how far back it is. Well, you can, you can see it's upsetting the young fella and he is all fired up. All right. Right, now, but who, if who jumped over the fence? Did you said that you jumped over the fence? No, that okay. no. I have jumped over that fence one time to get a lure that I lost. Correct. Okay. But I, I don't fish on that side of the fence. Right. Absolutely well, not he, one time. He brought it to my attention that, well, one of you guys had jumped. It was me. Over. Yeah, it was. It, me. it was you. He's got a picture of you sitting on his bench, right. which is right. Oh, that. Off. Okay. Right, that won't happen again. Well, I hope not. No, because, absolutely not. Uh, what do you call? He's all upset. Yeah, he's a he's a character. Well, you can you can say whatever you want. We join the Armed Fisherman Channel in Clearwater, Florida. Here, a fisherman openly carrying his gear receives cheers from beachgoers. But when a lifeguard intervenes and calls the cops, things take a turn. How you doing? Oh, I like that. You know, it's kind of like a protest. And like, it's not a protest. No, it's I know, but, it's but like, I don't give a fuck. Hey, it's like, like hey, just respect my constitutional no, rights. I'm all about it, man. Yeah, man. God bless America. That's right. What's up? How y'all doing? What up, dude? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, dude. I don't want to talk to you. This is Clearwater, no rescue. Go a few boulevards south in Hamden Drive for a male walking with an American flag and a uh, assault style rifle around him. The first officer detains the fisherman, calling for backup. Stop, 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 stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Hey, why you got your hands on me? Because you're walking with the fire. I know, I know. I'm going okay. fishing. Look, I got a fishing pole. You're not fishing right now. I know, I'm going to that fishing pier right there. Okay. I'm going right to that fishing pier. Okay. What's your problem? Excuse me, sir. What no. are you a sergeant? Who no. who are you? I'm a lieutenant though. Okay. What is your name? Badge number? Center nine eight zero eight. Yours? Okay. Let me favor. Let that go, please. Thank you. Dude, I I I was just going fishing. Okay, but you're not fishing right now, right? I, it's you have to understand the law. I'm not fishing here. I'm going relax. I'm going Sir, you're scared. Everybody walking down That's fine. Dude, sir, you're throwing my $300 fishing pole in the dirt right now. I'll pick it up for you. Yeah, 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 you're going to pay for my $300 fishing pole. Okay. I am not fishing here. I am going fishing to the fishing pier. That is where I, I haven't fished. I haven't thrown a fishing pole. I haven't done anything. You want to go up to the... Uh... We no, on, we're not. I'm not breaking the law. What's the problem with you guys defending your oath to the Constitution of Florida, Florida, and the United States? What's the problem? Can I? Can, am I lawfully allowed to do what I'm doing? Am I lawfully allowed? I don't care. Am I lawfully allowed to do? 
I don't have to listen. Am I lawfully allowed to do what I'm doing? Yes or no? Am I am I lawfully allowed to do what I'm doing? Am I lawfully? Am I lawfully? Listen to us. Just give us a few moments. I don't need to listen. Am I lawfully allowed to do what I'm doing? Okay, well, you're going fishing, right? Yes, I'm going. After 45 minutes and multiple calls for his release, the officers realized their mistake. Oh, you're starting to figure it out, huh? Oh, I got ya. It looks like they're starting to get phone calls from people that I know. Oh, here we go, here we go. Hi, Michael, you ready? Yeah, I'm, I've been ready. Um, what's your name and badge number? Oh, my name's Officer Buse. Do you want me you, to take those handcuffs off? Yeah, I want the handcuffs off. What's your name? Spell it for me. It's right there, B-U-S-S. Is that, is that what you're gonna tell the, the, the judge? Tell the judge what? Yeah, because it's yeah. my name. Yeah, it's B U S A. It's a yeah. And your badge number? It's six seven nine zero. Perfect. And yours? Right. While you're taking my handcuffs off, okay. what's your name? Put your handcuffs right. And spell your name? A R U M M O N. And your badge number? Yeah, All right. After this, you guys can kick the cross because I gotta fix my fucking swing. I'm not pointing my gun at you. It's pointing at the fucking ground. You guys are all pieces of shit. Michael, are you oh, shut the fuck are you up. Fishing now? I'm, I was on my way to fishing, you dumb Don't fish. your and your fishing Shut the f up. Get the f out of here. Every one of y'all can kick the f out of here. You piece of shit. Easy. F you. Because now you're talking about being hey, disorderly. Hey, oh, this is... I can redress my you're government. Causing you're causing I can people to redress look at my us. government in any way, shape, and form. F you, f you, f you, and f you. Get the f out of here, you pieces of sh. Next, we're with Let's Exchange IDs with Travis Heinzer in Turtle Lake, Wisconsin. Travis, resting in his car, records his interaction with the police chief, who accuses him of loitering. I'm here today. Been here all day. I, I have? Yeah. Okay, what's the problem? Um, this is uh, not for people just to be just hanging out here sleeping in their vehicles. Oh, is it rest? You've been kidding. here all day. You've been here ever since I came to work this morning, so mm -hmm. you got some ID? Let's see your ID. Right here, it's right on my chest. What brings you to Turtle Lake from Washington? A little rainy out here, huh? A little bit. All right, here, I guess we'll get out. No, you don't need to get out, but. You got some ID? It's uncomfortable sitting like this, so... Well, you're in here sleeping like that. Laying down. You got well, some ID? What's the, what's, the, what's the law about... You can't loiter in our town. No, okay, is that what ordinance is the park there? That's our village ordinance. Excuse Bottom me. line is just get in your car and get out of the turtle. Well, that. Yeah, I mean, I'll be making my way out, but... No, no. I'm not, no. We're done. We're, we're done here. If you don't want to cooperate, well, just get in your car and leave. Are you a chief or something? I'm the police chief. Yes, I am. All right, good job. Well, you're just an elected. We're chief. not here to debate who I am, what I'm doing. I told you who I am. I told you I was the police department when I arrived. Okay. Oh yeah, and were you were you called or no? Or you just come up on your own? To... It doesn't matter. You've been here. I told you I've been here all day. You've been here all day. You have. Okay. Don't turn my words around. Well, we've, play we've, all, we've all been here. I mean, for a right while. Now, is, uh, we're asking you to leave our a, town completely. We? Who's we? You didn't get elected. The village to. board put me in charge of enforcing the ordinance. So okay. the village board tells so, me that they don't want people living in this town. If you don't want to ID yourself, just get in your car and let's be gone. We're not here to debate it. You need to leave. You need to be leave? You need to leave. You guys, you guys are really crazy. No, we're not. I mean, this is a, this is a regular. You don't, you don't want to ID yourself, so let's get back in your car, and take your stuff, I'm, and head out of here. I'm willing to exchange information with you. I mean, if you want to exchange information, I mean, I could do that with you. So, what do, you, what do we got here? Uh, you don't have a name tag, huh? Let's take your stuff and get in your car. Let's go. <laughs> go where? I, out I, of town. I haven't even I haven't even marked the place to go. I was, I was gonna be, well, you need to just was, leave town then. I was, I was going to go back to the library, so... No, you, you, you've overstayed your welcome here now in Turtle Lake. I've overstayed my welcome in yep. Turtle Lake. I think you've gone crazy here. No, over... And you're telling us an ordinance? I'm, I'm getting... You're loitering in our town. We have an ordinance for people that loiter here. 
Yeah, all right. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's hook it up. We got the internet here. Let's go. Let's, let's go. get your car. Let's go. We're not going to play your games. How do we find this ordinance? Let's go. Travis is getting the car. Let's go. So we're gonna we're gonna find this ordinance. Travis, we're done. Oh, we're gonna find this no, ordinance. We're not gonna stand out in the rain all day just to. Oh, I'm telling right. you, we're done. You need to leave. You know, I That's think... an order from us. I... If you don't have our order, we can take you to jail. The video goes viral, leading to an investigation and the chief's retirement in January 2023. A powerful reminder of the impact of social media dives into the depths of History Channel, where a diver in northern Atlanta, Georgia, gets detained for cleaning up trash from the Chattahoochee River. After finding and reporting a handgun, he faces an absurd confrontation with an unidentified U.S. park ranger. Yes, ma'am, that uh, that's a picture over there from what I've been told. Uh, but remember, I talked to you before about this. But... The water is part of Chattahoochee River National Recreation Area. Federal property. It's managed by the Department of Interior, but, National Park Service. But you're telling me by like finding a gun, uh, like you don't want people going in here and finding firearms and giving them back and like collecting I'm not trash. That. What I'm I collect is. trash. I, I'm not taking anything else out of here besides like trash. The ranger's attempts to find fault fall flat as the diver stands firm on his rights. As far as I'm concerned, it's a public waterway. Anybody's allowed to go. Yeah, you can go in there and recreate. Did you have a dive flag? We did. Yeah. yeah, we do. We have it right by the car. It was inside of your vehicle? Also inside the, the yeah, water? Yeah, it was inside the water. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I've seen some videos where you didn't have a dive flag. Yes, ma'am. And we recently found out that that rule changed and each one of us now have a dive flag. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm, I promise you, I'm not, I'm just trying to, to find trash, take it out of the river, throw it away. Well, here's the thing, sometimes you find things that are not trash. Sometimes you find things that are of historical value. That's a problem. You understand? From, in which, in which area? Because I haven't found anything historical over here. Okay. It may have which been like Holcomb Bridge Park or something, which, but again, National Park. Which, which again, it's part of Chattahoochee River. Holcomb Bridge Park is not part of the Chattahoochee River National Recreation Area, but the waterway is. So that doesn't make any sense because the, the waterway is public. But you're but you're saying by going in the river and removing trash out of the river that that is illegal. What I'm saying is that there inherently there's a risk of you finding something of historical value. Okay. Okay. Moving that from the river is illegal. But we didn't remove anything of historical value. Here, How are so we supposed to know this? I just don't understand. Like, I'm, I just want to get trash out. I'm trying to do the right thing. I, I understand. Like I said, places like Wolfham Bridge, that's not our property. So that's not that park property, so that's OK. Physically, that... the land is not ours, but the water is. We still patrol the water. OK, but I've. <laughs> Yeah, I thought the waterways are public. That's it's, what it's I was federal, it's told. Part of the federal, it's part of the federal land. It's part of the Chattahoochee River National Recreation Area. Do you have writing that says that? Yeah, you, like you, you can at? even go on, the, on our website. You can <laughs> tell me, but I don't know what I'm talking I about. Just, I just don't think, okay. I, no, I just don't think that it's right because it's a public that waterway. Is in, that is within the National Park Service jurisdictional boundaries. The park, I can enforce the park is different from the I'm river. Not, you know what? I'm not going to continue arguing this either. We join Outdoors Weekly in Pinesville, Georgia. Bryce and his friends go magnet fishing in the Fort Stewart military installation, finding dangerous military relics. These rockets were in that bag. The majority of them were. Okay. The, yeah, a lot of them had fell out. Um, yeah, no, 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 I'm so sure. That kind of creeped me out though with them um, test rockets being in that Delta Airlines bag. Yeah, I don't like that. So let's fucking go ahead and back away from that to get it. Hey man. How you doing, sir? Yeah, Nothing much, man. So did you guys found some ammunition? Yeah, it's up there. A little more than ammunition. M73 uh, practice rockets. Oh, shit. Yeah. Like yeah. 86 of them. Eight, yeah, 86 of them. <laughs> just laying on the side of the road? No, no they were in the river. they're in a, in a duffel bag in the river. Is it going to look like it's been been there for a while? Yeah, it's been there for a little bit. I mean, you can't play with that crap. Yeah. Oh, hell no. If we were to take one of those it's, and get caught with it, it's 10 years in prison. I've never been in a call like this, so I got to see. <laughs> yeah. What, what I'm going to have you all do and fill out real quick. It's just, it's called an F5. It's just basic. You're not in trouble or anything. It's just basic information and yeah. everything, like name, social. Sure. You're good. I like good stuff. This is probably the craziest thing we've ever found. I wonder how many officers we're going to get out here today. There's another one. Really? Yeah. After responsibly calling the bomb squad, they face an unexpected twist. The game warden arrives, 
issuing over 300 in fines to each fisherman, a frustrating end to a day of community service. Okay, that's game warden. Is it? All right. Oh, dang. What's up, man? How y'all doing? Good. Not too good, right? Oh, oh we're doing great, man. <laughs> Office. Here's the good news. The good news is you're not going to jail as far as I know so far. Hey. The bad news is y'all getting tickets, man. We getting tickets? Yeah, because uh, anybody got four steward permits? For, for what? For doing anything. For leaving the highway. To leave the highway? Where, where'd you guys do this magnet fishing at? Right there. Right there on the bridge, right? Yeah. Okay, so when you get into the river down there, that's Fort Stewart, okay? First off, you can't fish from the bridge. We're not you can't fishing. hold up. You're magnet fishing, right? So we're cleaning trash out of here's what I'm saying. No, no, you're magnet fishing. So you can't magnet fish from the dam on Fort Stewart. Okay. Okay. You got to have a permit to even be out here doing anything. Okay. So and then this is a closed area right here. I didn't see any signs. Then then, then I have to put signs, man. You're on you're on Army base. So if you weren't fishing from the highway, there's no pond right here in the middle of the highway, right? So anyway, we didn't I need... know that one because it did say no fishing up okay. there. That's... Here's what I'm gonna tell you. You all getting tickets, you can come to court and talk to a judge, okay? okay. Let me get your uh, driver's okay. license. Everybody okay. need to drive. He's you got them on, okay? Okay, so let me just explain. So you're on public highway here, okay? Public highway is public highway. In order to do anything other than be on this public highway, which doesn't include anything else other than driving, um, you gotta have a permit, okay? A permit would be from range control to come out here and do whatever. The reason magnet fishing is not allowed is because of exactly what y'all got right there, okay? You're pulling up tank rounds and all this different You don't know what's gonna blow up and what's not gonna blow up, okay? So what's the reason for y'all doing that? Cleaning up the water. I mean, I, that's not, it's, okay. yeah. well, it's the wrong place to be doing river cleanup. Pay the ticket. Or the other alternative would be to go to jail for you guys acquiring army property. So I, I understand you called and all that, but okay? That's like robbing a bank and then calling the police or, or saying, hey, I just found 10 pounds of marijuana, okay? Y'all been better off just leaving that down there. While you write your report, if you would please put it in there. I know you say it's irrelevant, but I would like it in the report that there are bridges with no fishing signs. Okay, it's not this a report, is... it's a ticket. Okay, I'm gonna put who, what, why, when, where. Your opinion is if you wanna to come to court, that's for you to say to a judge, okay? It's not for me, it's not for you to dictate for me to write in a report. First off, I'm not writing a report. I'm saying I only write a report if you're under arrest. I'm not hostile at all. I'm just asking. Oh, I thought you were debating. Any particular reason why this dude's asking me the way he is? It's just weird. I appreciate the guy fucking doing this. Yeah. Well, that's what we get for doing the right thing. Yeah, I mean, it's. Because we should have known. Tickets each. One of them's an $80 ticket. The other two are 130 bucks each. What are they for? Are you going to explain it when we're all together? Yeah, well. I mean, it's on the ticket. That's all self-explanatory. From the Cops Over channel, we're at Little Sugar Creek, where a regular fishing day turns into a showdown. A security guard confronts our fisherman, claiming fishing is prohibited. But our fisherman knows better. He confidently asserts his right to fish in public waters, even as the guard threatens to call the park rangers. Security walking up. There's no fishing here. What? Uh, fishing. You can't fish. You can't fish in this thing. I would say. So. You can't fish in here? No. Are you being serious? Yeah. Yep. Because I had last this, this past summer, I had two people that were fishing, and I asked the park ranger. Like yeah, I, I tell you what, man, I'm not going to argue you're dead wrong. That's you're, you're dead wrong about that. This is Little Sugar Creek, and you can fish anywhere in here. It's publicly accessible. That's okay. why I left. That's okay. no, that's okay. That's why I left my GoPro on when you walked up, and I saw you coming up. Yeah. I can ask, I can, uh, you don't have to ask anybody. I'm not going to argue. You're dead ass wrong. You're dead ass wrong. This is Little Sugar Creek, and I'm surprised you'd say that. I don't. It's okay, man. I mean, it's Sunday morning. I'm here fishing. This is Little Sugar Creek. You're so absolutely wrong. The situation heats up, but our fisherman doesn't back down, challenging their claims with solid knowledge of local laws. You mind if I get your name? I just told you I asked the park ranger. You mind if I get your name? Yeah. You're not a park ranger. You have zero jurisdiction against the rivers. I can't believe you're saying this. I work for the... I am employed for the county of Mecklenburg County. The park rangers 
The park rangers. I am you work for Allied Special. Police. I'm not going to argue. I'm Thank you. You were professional, my friend. You're you're absolutely wrong. Dude, you are arguing, sir, though. Dude, if if you are here, I take your ass to jail. If you want to argue with me about this, and I just told you, I will ask the park ranger for you. Then I was. Being you like, don't have to ask the park ranger, and you just said you'd take my ass to jail. Dude. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not gonna argue. You telling me I'm being dis, I'm being with you when I just told you you're, I would ask a park ranger for you. You need to lower your voice to me. No, no, you need to start talking to me. Now you been there, you just being disrespectful to me. No, I'm not. Me, Listen, you have zero me. jurisdiction. You're not even an arresting officer. Yes, we are, sir. Sir, we did, are, sir. sir, do you see that? Police. Yeah. Do you see that? I have jurisdiction. Did you, on this did you arrest somebody for fishing right here? Yeah, can I get your guys' names before I go? Sir, Officer, Officer Carlson. 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 Rivera. Rivera. Thanks, Rivera. Next, brought to you by Cops Wrong, we head to Florida, where a fisherman exercises his Second Amendment rights in a public park. Law enforcement approaches curious and cautious. The fisherman, hands raised, calmly handles the situation, asserting his legal right to open carry while fishing. What's up, bud? Huh? My, my hands are up. My hands are up. Turn the phone off. Okay, that you know, uh, I'm allowed to record. All right, guys, so I'm, I'm being told by law enforcement to tone, turn my phone off. So, okay, well, I, I'm going to pass the phone to him. There you go, man. How are you, man? I'm good. I am out here fishing. I, I have ID, but have I committed a crime? Okay, it's... Okay, well, um, I'm out here fishing. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, what is it? Under Florida Statute 790.25, Section 3, Subsection H, I'm allowed to do this? And we're allowed to identify it? Uh, if I'm committing a crime. You got a fishing license? Yes, sir. Uh, I'd rather you grab it. It's in my pocket. Uh, this one. This one? Th this one right here. Bottom left? Yeah, you see that, like, rectangle? The officers, initially on edge, recognize his lawful actions and commend his exercise of rights. It's, it's in there. Okay. Can I just take your concealed license for now? Make uh, it valid? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Can I, am I, do I gotta keep my hands up still? You said, yeah, keep my hands up still? Yeah, I would. Okay, okay good. Now, you good with that? Yeah. I have no ill will, just so you know. It's just kind of tiring keeping no, my hands up like that. Uh, you rest here? Huh? You rest here? You yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go like this. That, that feels a lot better than having them up in the air. Where are you from? If you don't from, me from here. Huh? No, from Florida. Okay. Catch an easing? We literally just got here. Okay. Yeah, we, we just got here. Uh, I grabbed my stuff, grabbed some bait, and we was about to start casting out, and then I looked behind me, and you guys are all here. You understand how you can freak people out? I, I understand, but if if exercising my rights freaks people out, that's not really my problem. You Have know, you it's... Have you been here in fish before? Huh? Have you been here in fish before? No, this is my first time at this spot here. Family? They're their family. You got any guns on you? No, the only per the only person carrying here is me. That we can see. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Your recording device does it do like active GPS location? That's so when I walked up and told you to turn it off, there are some apps out there mm -hmm. that when you decide to record, it'll scan out to a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. you're, on, you're in a police encounter. I don't well, know. well, my 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 viewers they they know where I'm at, so you know. So that's my standpoint. Okay. I'm trying to reason with you and tell you why I did what I'm doing. Yeah, I just I just record because it's my First Amendment right. Same way I'm actually, you know, you can't exercise one if you don't exercise all, right? So that's why I was telling you to put it down. Okay. Because some people do turn that stuff on with the GPS location to get a crowd there to make it more of a problem. Oh no, we're not. We're not looking for no problem. Just public, 
Just public education. I'm not saying that. Cause, before. cause right, right, right now, I'm out here exercising my rights. You got guys with, with rifles, at at a slant, but still kind of aimed in my direction. You're you're making people think that what I'm doing is illegal and making me look like a criminal when I'm not. It, I, I think it's it's just a little excessive. What's excessive is doing what you're doing. No, this, but this is this is this is the rights of the people, right? You swore to protect this. The same way you swore to protect my right to film. And the first thing you asked me was turn off my camera. Because I just equate you. Yeah, I, I, I get what I get what you're trying to say, but in the end of the day, it's still my right. Shouldn't have even asked. Our third story from the Armed Fisherman Channel takes us to Madeira Beach, Florida. Here, Michael Taylor, armed for a fishing trip, draws the attention of Sergeant Panica. Despite Florida's complex firearm laws, Taylor is legally carrying under specific statutes. However, he's detained by deputies, leading to a tense 20-minute standoff. Hey, man, uh, a fishing pole. Uh, my AR pistol and my, my handgun. Alright, put your hands up for me, bro. Why are you carrying around that? Because I was just fishing. With a gun? Yes, sir. I was, in Florida, we can do this. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I'm letting you know, I'm, I'm trying to let you know, while you're engaged in fishing, hunting, and camping, you can do this. Alright, you got any more guns on you? No, sir. No right. more, there's no more knives, no more guns, right, no more... Up. I can't stand up. Ready? Hold on. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, come on, man. I ain't got no fish on me. Can you guys look up Florida Statute 790.25, Section 3, Subsection H, please? All right, how am I going to get all those crap on Well, you've got handcuffs on me, and once again, if you look up the statute... All right, will you stop for a minute? you have ID on you? Uh, no, uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, where would it be? I don't consent to any of it. What what crime did I commit? Uh, open carry in Florida is not... Unless you're engaged in fishing, hunting, or camping. That's not a crime. To, to possess a firearm is not right, a crime. Well, listen, do you understand that when I'm, I'm pulling into a parking lot, I see somebody with what looks like... Look, man, I was, all, I was actually on my way home until you decided to come out and point guns at me. All right, well, I want to go home today, too. I don't want to get shot. I, I wasn't listen, pointing listen, guns listen, at you. Listen, listen, listen. We understand the statute. I know you are in your right... Listen, I... Listen. Right, listen to him. I understand what you're saying. However, think about where you are right now. You know, listen, you know well that statute's more for rural Florida. Am I right or am I wrong? You're wrong. I'm wrong? Because I don't so fish listen. I don't fish out in the woods, okay. dude. I, I, I fish on the rivers in the in the friggin' okay. ocean. Listen, listen to me. Look at where you are right now. Where are you at? I am friggin' you're in John's Pass, right? Absolutely. One hundred percent. You have to think about where you're at when you're doing that stuff. Am I right? No. I, I just need to know the law. I thought you were going to be logical. But I, I am. I just I right. just need to know the law. Can I call my lawyer? Please? Whatever you want in a second, man. Hold on. Is this your rod? Yes, sir. Like, all the stuff that you... Where's your car at? Where's your car at? My car is somewhere around here, and at this point, I'm about to go back fishing because I am doing something lawful, and if you guys are going to treat me like this, I'm just going to go back to fishing. So, uh, like, we can. Right, well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure this out with with reason for you guys, but you guys are treating me like I'm a criminal, like I've well, done something wrong. I don't even wrong. know who you are yet. You don't need. You don't need to know who I am. I'm just a law-abiding citizen that's done Listen. nothing wrong. Taylor's calm demeanor and a call to his attorney resulted in his release, highlighting the importance of understanding and asserting one's legal rights in such situations. And uh, your name, sir? Sergeant Panici. And uh, your badge or payroll number? Six three nine. Thank you very much. You know we have payroll numbers. You guys, you've done this a few times. They just told me. Oh, okay. Okay. Where's your car parked? Uh, somewhere close. Okay. I'm, I'm letting you know. All you have to do, because, because I don't, like I, I'm, don't I really don't trust you guys. I just want my, my belongings back. If we need to set them on the ground over here on the dirt, whatever you got to do, and I will go about my day until I feel comfortable. You're not gonna harass me after the fact. We're not going to harass you after the fact. Um, so listen, here's what here's what I would like to do. Okay. I want to make sure that we do this safely. Right. You have two guns over there. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to give them back to you. Okay. I would prefer to give them back to you unloaded because I would really hate for me or one of our, our guys here to get shot. My goal, my goal is not to harm anybody here. Okay. Well, I met you five minutes ago. Okay. I don't know that. 
Uh, this is my lawyer, like I said. Yeah, what I what did he respond? Call. He did. That was the sheriff that responded. Perfect. Alright, instead of uh, you guys talking to me about this, let's just go ahead and wherever you feel comfortable by the bathrooms, right over here in the dirt, wherever you feel comfortable about leaving my belongings, I would like my belongings and I'd like to go about my day. Please. That's fine. Like I said, I just Please. want to hand it back to you unloaded. Whatever you got to do, because I'll, I'll do whatever I got to do after the fact. I just want my belongings back so I can go about my day. Finally, courtesy of Marble Historian, we witness a group of kids turning fishing into a prank using a donut to bait cops. What starts as a playful act quickly spirals into a serious situation leading to an arrest. Watch how quickly the mood changes when the cop realizes his co-worker messed up. I had like 10 donuts before I came over here. Tell you what, man, a, a dog ate that first. Hey, any of you boot liquor this? Oh, yeah, you got that? Ooh, I got that, you got that? I got the bro, I got the bro. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me get all those badge numbers. Badge numbers names. Badge numbers names. Thank you, sir. Hey, don't touch me. Come on, man. I'm the insert. What am I getting arrested for? I think it's time for you to go. Oh! Hey, what's he? What's he getting arrested oh. for? What's he getting arrested Thank for? Keep in the peace. Back off! Please don't, Back off! Please don't catch me! He assaulted a lieutenant, you back off or you'll go to jail. I, didn't, he didn't I recorded the whole thing! Where did he touch him? Where did he touch him? This incident raises questions about the fine line between humor and perceived threats, especially in interactions with law enforcement. What do you think of these encounters? Were the fishermen in the right or did they cross a line? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. See you next time.